Have you ever wondered what lies beyond our current understanding of power, intelligence, and survival? What if there were civilizations out there so advanced? They could harness the energy of entire galaxies? Or bend space-time like paper? Back in 1964, a Soviet astronomer named Nikolai Kardashev proposed a bold idea. Kardashev was a leading figure in Soviet astrophysics. Best known for his work on cosmic radio waves and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, he defined three main levels, Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3, each representing control over planetary, stellar, and galactic energy. But since then, scientists and futurists have expanded the scale. Not to just three, civilizations in the universe could be ranked across seven terrifying levels, each level more mind-bending than the last. Each step, a leap toward godlike power. And here's the scary part. We're not even level one. In fact, we might not survive long enough to ever get there. So what exactly are these seven levels of civilization? How powerful are they? And today we're diving headfirst into the seven levels of civilization from the weakest to the ones that could erase us in a blink. Type zero civilization, the fragile beginner. A type zero civilization is where humanity currently stands. It hasn't yet mastered full planetary control. It still relies on fossil fuels, primitive technology, and fragile ecosystems. It's vulnerable to natural disasters, nuclear war, and pandemics and it could be wiped out by a single asteroid strike. We don't even rank on the cosmic scale yet. We can't control weather. We can't harness our planet's full energy. And space travel? We're barely reaching the moon and Mars. Physicist Michio Kaku estimates that we might reach Type 1 status in about 100 to 200 years if we survive that long. The transition from Type 0 to Type 1 is the most dangerous stage. Because it requires global cooperation, massive technological leaps, and surviving our own self-destructive tendencies. Civil wars, climate collapse, bioweapons, AI rebellion. Any of these could stop us dead in our tracks. Type 1 Civilization, the Planetary Master. A Type 1 civilization is capable of harnessing and controlling the entire energy output of its home planet. That's roughly 10-16 watts of energy. To put that into perspective, that's a million times more than what we currently use. At this stage, humanity would control weather systems, prevent earthquakes, even redirect hurricanes. It would have a unified world government advanced AI systems, and sustainable fusion energy powering the globe. Transportation would be near instant. Languages unified, pollution eliminated, and space colonization fully underway. A Type 1 civilization would still face threats. From rogue AI, hostile climate shifts, and even cosmic events like gamma ray bursts. And here's the big twist. Once you shine this bright on the cosmic radar, you also become visible to other civilizations. And not all of them will be friendly. So a Type 1 society might be powerful, but it's also extremely exposed. Type 2 Civilization, the Stellar Manipulator. A Type 2 Civilization can harness the full power of its sun. That's 1026 watts of energy more than a billion times what humanity uses today. To do this, they might build a Dyson Sphere, a megastructure surrounding their star to capture every drop of solar energy. Imagine controlling the fusion of a sun like it's a household battery. They could terraform planets, travel between stars, and create artificial life. Their AI would be incomprehensibly intelligent. They're machines, self-repairing and likely sentient. Communication across light years? No problem. They'd use quantum entanglement or even bend space-time. 
A civilization like this might live for millions of years, expanding across solar systems, but they'd also have the power to destroy planets. Accidentally or intentionally. To a type 2 being, we might look like bacteria. And if they chose to visit us, we wouldn't even realize it before it was too late. That's the terrifying part. We wouldn't see them coming. Type 3 civilization, the Galactic Empire. Now we're getting into true cosmic horror. A Type 3 civilization can control the entire energy of a galaxy. That's over 1036 watts. We're talking trillions of stars, millions of planets, and countless civilizations under one umbrella. They'd move between star systems in seconds, not centuries. Their computing power would exceed anything we can imagine. They might create stellar engines to move suns, or even rearrange galaxies. Time for them would be a tool. Space, a playground. If they encountered a lower species like us, they could simulate our entire reality. They could turn Earth into a data farm or simply wipe us out. And the scariest thing? They may already be out there. Watching, listening, waiting. Type 4 civilization, the intergalactic architects. Forget galaxies. A Type 4 civilization spans the entire universe. They control energy on the scale of billions of galaxies. They understand the structure of space-time and manipulate dark matter and dark energy. The mysterious forces that make up most of the universe. They could travel across cosmic filaments, seed life on multiple planets, and even reverse entropy. They wouldn't just survive the universe's death. They could prevent it or restart it. To us, they'd appear as gods. Omnipresent, omnipotent, unknowable. Their influence might already be woven into the very laws of physics. And if they exist, they could have created universes like ours in simulation. We might be inside their sandbox. Type 5 civilization, the multiversal voyager. One universe, not enough. Type 5 takes it up a notch. These civilizations can traverse the multiverse. They jump between realities. Each with different laws of physics. Different timelines. Different versions of you. They understand dimensional travel, time loops, and alternate existences. They could create a universe just for fun or destroy one with a thought. At this point, civilization might not even be the right word. They are more like entities of pure thought, spanning infinite timelines. They'd experience all of history at once and see every possibility play out. You wouldn't be able to perceive them because they could be watching from a higher dimense. Like we look down at ants. And if they ever chose to interfere, we'd never know. Because it would already have happened. Type 6 and 7 civilizations, the cosmic gods. At the very top lie the ultimate levels of existence, type 6 and type 7. They don't just travel the multiverse. They might have created it. Type 6 beings exist outside time and space. They could create laws of physics, rewrite reality, or end all of it in an instant. Type 7? They are the source. Beyond comprehension, rewrite reality, beyond logic. 
They may not even be civilizations at all. But consciousness itself, pure being. They don't evolve, they are eternal. Are they watching us? Guiding us? Testing us? Or worse, completely indifferent? Reflecting how far we've come and how far we still have to go. We're type zero, still fighting over borders, still polluting the only home we have, still afraid of what's out there. Knowing what lies ahead can help us become more than what we are. Which level do you think we'll reach? And which one scares you the most? Let me know in the comments. Smash that like button if you learned something mind-blowing today. And don't forget to subscribe to TopBit for more deep dives into the unknown. We're just getting started. And remember, some things should stay in the stars.